the seven last words from the cross, the death of our Lord Jesus Christ. When Jesus had cried out again in a loud voice, he gave up his spirit. There are many words in the original languages of the scriptures for what we would normally render in English as breath, breathing, or breathing out. This concept of breathing or breath is significant in the Bible. When Jesus breathes his last, we know that this is the moment when his earthly life comes to an end and he undergoes that separation of soul from body, which will happen to all of us at the end of our own lives. We witness on the cross an ending, that is, of Christ's earthly life. But in scripture, we also associate breathe life and transformation. In the Psalms we read, you send forth your spirit and they are created. And in Ezekiel, thus says the Lord God to these bones, behold, I will cause breath to enter you that you may come to life. And of course, in Genesis, we recall when God breathed into man's nostrils the breath of life and he became a living being. Wherever there is life and generation, in Christ's last breath, we have something of a transition. What we see is not the full reality of what is happening, simply like an end, is in fact the beginning, think new. It's the opening of a new age. In what would seem to any spectator to be a moment of hopelessness, Jesus leaves the world with the familiar biblical sign of breath, which not only points to his shared nature with the creator God, but simultaneously signals to that breath of life yet to come the one who will be sent to heal and transform us into fitting dwellings for the divine presence, the Holy Spirit. This last breath of Jesus is not the end, but the beginning of a heavenly new order.